Uh, hi everyone, and uh, welcome to back to the this series of uh, circuit uh, practice problems. So today we'll start with the AC analysis, and we will have the our first question. So in this question, we want to find what is your I I zero, the current that goes through this one ohm uh, resistance. So I will be using nodal analysis to solve this uh, this problem. Uh, once the technique is not specified in the question, then you can use any circuit technique that you are comfortable with. But when you do AC analysis, the first thing you have to look into the circuit and answer the, fo the following question. Is the circuit written in the time domain or in the frequency domain? Do we have the input as a sinusoid or the input as a phasor? Do we have the L and C as L from inductance in Henry and C capacitance in uh, Farad, or we have them as ohms, as imaginary numbers? So when you look here, look to the voltage source, current source. So obviously they are in phasors, and we look to the only uh, capacitor we have here is minus J1. So obviously everything has been converted into the frequency domain. So if it is in the frequency domain, you can start right away solving this question. Okay, so why, what we want to find, we find I0, but since I, I will be using nodal analysis, so the first thing we need to find is V1 and V2. And as a matter of fact, what is I0 basically? When you looked here, your I0 is nothing but your V1 divided by R, which is 1, which is basically V1. So this is what we want to find. So let's find V1 and then our problem will be will be solved. So we'll apply KCL to node number number one. Okay, assuming the currents are leaving. Okay, of course, all of this is just one node. Remember that. There's no any component between this point and that point, so all of this is one node. So we have basically one, two, three, four branches. Then we have to have four elements in my uh, KCL equation. Okay, so this current is leaving, so it is V1 minus, minus 12, angle of zero, because the polarity here, divided by one, plus the current that goes down here, which is uh, V1 divided by 1, the current to the right, plus V1 minus V2 divided by 1. And this current is entering the node, so it's equal to 2 angle of, of 0. Okay, excellent. So we have every, everything divided by 1, so that's okay. So we have V1, 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 so we'll have 3 V1 minus V2. And this is plus 12, take it to the other side. So this is equal to 2 angle of 0 minus 12 angle of 0. So this becomes equal to minus 10 angle of minus angle, uh, equal to uh, angle of 0. So this is your first equation. Excellent. Now we'll apply KCL to node number 2. So this is node number 1, this is node number 2. So KCL to node number number two, which is basically V2. So again, we'll have the current here is leaving, leaving, and this is the current enter the node. So basically here we have three components in our equation. So this becomes V2 minus V1 divided by one, the current to the left, the current that goes down plus V2 over minus G equal to four angle of zero. Now we don't like to see this minus j here, okay? So what we do, we multiply by j over j. So we get rid of the j in the denominator and always have j only in the numerator. So we will have v2 minus v1 plus v2 over minus j times j over, over j equal to four angle of zero. Basically, when multiplied by j over j, I multiply by one. So I'm not changing anything in terms of the uh, this component of the equation value, okay? But when I multiply j 
times j this is equal to root of minus one square which is equal to minus one so this become equal to minus one j times j is minus one and there is a minus here so it becomes equal to plus so this equation now becomes v2 minus v1 plus j v2 equal to four angle of zero so we'll have here minus v1 plus v2 1 plus j is equal to four angle of zero again here j times j is minus one and we will have here a minus one so it becomes plus one so all of this is equal to plus one okay now we have our second equation we need to solve these two equations okay so let's see how we'll solve these two equations let me rewrite the equation again the first one is 3 v1 minus v2 equal to minus 10 angle of zero of course i can't drop the zero because minus 10 or minus 10 angle of zero is exactly the same thing the second equation is minus v1 plus v2 1 plus j equal to equal to four okay so what we can do since what i want to find is only v1 because i zero is basically v1 so what i will do here i will take this equation here and take v2 to this side and bring minus 10 to the other side so we can say that v2 is equal to 3 v1 plus 10. okay so this is the value of v2 take it and substitute the value of v2 here so minus so this is equation one equation two so substitute v2 in equation two so this becomes minus v1 plus v2 which is 3 v1 plus 10 times 1 plus j equal to 4 now minus v1 plus 3v1, 3v1 times 1, plus 3jv1, plus 10, 1 plus j is equal to, is equal to 4. We'll take this to the other side and we'll add terms here. So we will have 2v1 plus 3jv1 equal to minus 10 minus j10 plus 4 which is equal to minus 6 minus j 10 so take v1 as a common factor here v1 2 plus j 3 is equal to minus 6 minus j 10 from this you can say that v1 is equal to minus 6 minus j 10 divided by 2 plus j 3 now i'm dividing now two numbers two complex numbers but they are in rectangular form it is much better to convert each one now into a polar format okay so the first number will equal to 11.66 angle of 239.04 you need to know how to do this this is very very important how to convert from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular and any scientific calculator can do that Divide by 3.61 angle of 56.31. So from this, do the division. We'll divide the magnitude with the magnitude and subtract the angles. So your V1 will equal to 3.23 angle of 182.73. So this is the value of your V1. But what we want is I0, but we know that I0 is actually is equal to V1. So it's equal to 3.23 angle of 182.73. 73. 